Yo, what's up, YouTube? My name is Shisha Zed. I'm back in here with another video for you. Peace, positivity, self-awareness, and motivation. Hit that like button, man. So, listen, we hear it all the time. I'm sure you've heard it too. We're gonna say things like, why can't guys be more direct? And they really mean this, right? A lot of women out here, man, actually believe that men would be more successful with women if they just were more direct. So I'm not going to talk about this any further. I want you guys to check out this conversation between a man and a woman on this topic. Let's get it. I want you to tell me you want me. I need you to be direct with me. So let's say if I was direct like this, I was like, yo, Amanda, I'm single. You single. What's up? Okay. Nice to see you hitting me with a direct approach. What's up? I am a single rich man looking for a female wife. All right. I'm interested. So where are we living? I'm a um, Short Hills. Mm, Condo in Brooklyn. Park Slope. Nah, Williamsburg. All right, that's cool. That's cool. How much time are we spending together? Mm, eight hours a day. Seven hours, 12 hours a weekend. 55 hours max, but we'll get to the details later. Sounds like a job <laughs> right, right now. All right, cool. Um, children? One. Three. Two. I got to have a boy. All right, I I'll see what I could do. <laughs> Vacation? December, Columbia. June, Vineyard. June, fine, but Columbia. No, Vineyard. Is that a deal breaker? Yes, it is. That's doing business. You'll find somebody else. That's direct approach. So guys, you saw the interaction between the man and the woman and what they were pretty much reenacting there, I believe is a TV show. It's a 90 sitcom TV show. It's like a specific scene, right? And I'm actually glad that they did that so I wouldn't have to play the actual thing and get in trouble with like using other people's material. But anyways, so just think about this for a second, right? Women actually think that they would be more receptive if men just kept it real on dates, right? Imagine a first date like this. Like, what do you want, right? And the guy is honest about what he truly wants. So if the guy's looking for a serious relationship, he's just going to get there and say, hey, I find you really attractive. I really like you. You're beautiful. You're so beautiful. And I want to be in a relationship with you, right? Or if he just wants to smash, he can say, you know what? I just want to smash. How do you feel about that? In theory, it sounds nice. But in reality, we know that most women are not okay with the direct approach, right? That mode one. That's not the way women work. Even if a woman actually just wants to smash, in most cases, in most cases, because that's where it gets tricky. If a woman's feeling you and she wants a relationship, even in that situation, I wouldn't say that you're really direct with her with that. You got to have a sense of mystery, even in that situation. But most guys just want to smash. And if most guys came out here, even to women who are just down to smash, in most cases, women would not be okay with that straightforward approach. And so when a woman asks, why aren't men straightforward? In most cases, men aren't straightforward. Why? Because they realize that it doesn't work. It doesn't. Women love being sold a dream, right? They want to be taken on that journey of mystery. And women will do this all the time. They'll say things like, oh yeah, I want a man who's going to be straightforward and direct with me. If you think I'm beautiful, just tell me I'm beautiful. Tell me you want to take me out. And when you finally do that and give her that validation and you're straight up with her and say, hey, I think you're beautiful. I think you're awesome. Because guys do this all the time. The reaction that you get in most cases, if you've done it, because this is these are mistakes I've made in the past, is that a woman then doesn't see the excitement in pursuing a man like you. She needs that excitement. She needs to wonder where your mind's at as well, right? And so guys, here we have a woman who's saying men need to be more direct in their approach. What does that sound like? That sounds like a woman giving dating advice to men, which I always say is a bad idea. Women give terrible dating advice to men. And she's saying, be more straightforward with what you want. You see, the reason why a woman like her is saying to be more straightforward is because she's fallen for guys who are not straightforward, right? It's a complaint. It's a complaint that you fall for these guys and eventually it will look like they want a relationship, but they never quite take it there. Oh, it would look like they want a marriage, but they never quite take it there. But what women don't see is why are you falling for these guys who are not straightforward? 
right? Because those are the guys who are busting those cheeks. Those are the guys who you're letting smash, right? Those are the guys you're complaining about. When a woman says, why can't guys be more honest? With everything, guys, this is literally with everything. Women to say, guys are so emotionless. Like, why don't guys open up more? I wish they opened up more. Okay, I know plenty of guys that are very emotional, right? Very expressive with their emotion. You're not complaining about those guys. Why? Because you're picking the emotionally unavailable man, right? Which is just a guy who's not very expressive with your emotions, which is okay. As a man, you don't want to be too expressive with your emotions to women. Why? Because women don't find emotional men attractive. So when a woman says, why don't guys be more direct? That's actually saying, hey, I date a lot of guys who aren't direct. Those are the guys I pick. Those are the guys that I allow into my life to date me, to smash. And she says, I wish they weren't that way. And what she doesn't understand is that sense of not knowing, right? That mystery factor to the man, not knowing his intentions fully. Because I'm not saying just leave a woman completely in the dark, right? But that lack of understanding and keeping a woman on her toes, that same reason that she's complaining is the same reason why she goes after that guy. I want guys to be more direct. Well, most guys are direct. Most guys aren't getting laid. The guys that are getting laid... Right? They know how to use game. There are few things stronger that a man can possess than a strong mouthpiece. If he's able to talk to a woman in a way to get her to feed into an idea, a dream, then he's got her mind. Right? Mouthpiece is powerful. Women are receptive to words. This is the age old story, man. Think of Eve. And the serpent, right? How did a woman end up falling for that? Well, because it's in her nature. So should men be more direct with women? Eh, you ask me, I'm going to say no, right? If your goal is either to smash a chick or even just to have a healthy relationship, maintaining an element of mysteriousness, always, always will be beneficial in any type of situation. Right. Are there women that respond to that direct game? Yeah, they respond. But most women, most women, they don't. Just think about this. A lot of guys make this mistake when it comes to let's talk about dating apps. Right. When it comes to dating apps and just dating in general, if you're a guy on a dating app right now and your goal is to bag a chick, date a chick, whatever it is. Right. I'm telling you right now. The moment you mention anything sexual, right, and you allude to busting cheeks, you're going to turn her off. You're going to turn her off. The best way to smash a chick, the best way to get a chick, bag a chick, relationship, I'm talking anything, is to stay away from make, especially in initially, like, right, when you're getting to know a woman, don't mention anything sexual at all. A lot of guys screw up like this, man. I had one girl tell me she was out on a date with a guy and he was telling her about how his joystick was getting hard. Right? Come on, man. You don't mention those type of things. Even if the girl is down, right? Even if she looks, because that's just the way women are. First off, they don't want to assume responsibility and look like they're three or fours, right? So let's say you're on a date with a girl and you want to take her to your place. What never works, I promise you, is to say, hey, let's go back to my place and so, I, so we can smash. Like, you're down? She's going to say no. She's going to say no because of social pressures, right? She doesn't want to be viewed a certain way by other people and by you. She wants to go tell this story to her friends because women care about this stuff. And the story she wants to tell to her friends is, oh, he said he wanted to show me his cat. And then we went over to see his cat at his apartment and one thing led to another. And I had no idea that things were going to get to that, but they just happened. She knows. She knows. So if you want to take a girl back to your spot, man, the worst thing you can do is be direct. You want to allude to it. Say something like, hey, um, I've got a really nice art collection at my spot. Or I've got, you know, a bottle of wine if you want to go drink at my spot. She knows what that means when you're inviting her to your spot. 
But being direct, I'm telling you right now, will always fail. Even in a relationship and like initiating, and I'm talking about exclusive, yes, that purple pill life, initiating an exclusive relationship with the woman. The worst thing you can do is say, I want you to be my girlfriend. That's what I want. Especially when she's not ready, right? And she's not sure. You want her to ask for that. And you want to allude to it by your actions, but don't speak it with your words. Why? Because women just work better when there's a sense of mystery within the dynamic, right? With the man who she's dealing with. Again, guys, when you hear a woman complain about something, just know that those are the men that she's choosing. So in a way, a lot of women that complain about stuff really just tell on themselves, right? You don't hear women complaining about guys being too nice. Why? Because nice guys don't get laid. Hello. Plain and simple, Welcome. right? Welcome. Plain and simple. Welcome. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. As always, man, I appreciate you guys. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe. My name is Tisha Zed. Until next time, man, I'm out. Peace. I'm a walking liberty bell. Freedom ring through my stride. Freedom to be inside and be enslaved to my pride. And right away this screen. Man, this love so serene. I should probably shake it up just a little. I